We held back the reveal on this a bit because it is the most exciting dragon. Vagar is the oldest, largest dragon in the world. Certainly the largest dragon you've ever seen on Game of Thrones. Many times bigger than Drogon was, and Drogon was a huge dragon. Vagar is 130 years old. One of the concepts of this series is that dragons keep growing and growing. As they get older and older, we see they get more battered, more weather-worn, and they start to struggle to support their own weight. Dragons just essentially grow until they die, and part of their death cycle is getting too large, too big for the world. And Vagar is so large that she doesn't really fit anywhere anymore. In our story, she doesn't even fit in the dragon pit anymore. And that's created a bit of a loner personality to her. She's very grumpy, she sleeps a lot. You know, she's like an old cat. Aemon finds Vagar hiding in the dunes, and Vagar becomes his ride. It's such an important growth moment for him. He claims the biggest dragon who's ever existed, which in the beginning is terrifying because she's, you know, 150 meters long. It's one of the sequences that we first started pre -vising. We shot day one or day two him approaching Vagar on Holywell Beach. Because it was so complex, we had to stick pretty much to the previs. And him running around these sand dunes for two days, winds going, and, and like literally he looks at me and he's got kind of, he's encrusted with sand in his eyes. And, and I'm like, just one more take. <laughs> we shot dragon riding in the volume nearly six months later. Filming on a dragon, obviously. You don't get much better than that. Hello, guys. We are going on to set. Dragon riding so again. You do the drop, boom. As you, as you drop, the camera comes up. <laughs> in the very Special effects, Mike Dawson and his team, that they developed a new motion base, which has much more extreme angles than I've used before. So it can be more dynamic. They used it on what's known as the volume, which is new technology. Basically, the environment is surrounded by, I think it's two and a half thousand LED TV screens. This is a three-axis motion base that we built. Visual effects can give us previs. We can feed that in. It will move exactly as the previs. So all the movements can be repeated. It's all got to be quite precise. We had a special rigged seat, which was rigged vertically so you could hang out of the saddle. The first day was quite hard, and the next day I came in, I felt so much power, and I was like, I need to get this as well as I can. I think it kind of overwhelms me at some point, you know, trying to focus on so many different things, like hanging off 10 feet in the air. It's a stunt, that's why they call it stunts. Leo is a natural, an absolute natural. We shot additional final approach moments, blue screen, almost seven months later. So actually one of our concerns was making sure he doesn't look like he's growing up during the course of the scene. We started shooting one year and we finished a year later. I'm surprised we made it. I loved every second of it, and I think it came out pretty well. 